going on? What's going on? What's going on? Hey guys, I'm back at you with another one. And this time, I'm going to tell you guys why I choose a weed eater over an edger when it pertains to edging my property. Stay tuned. I tried out the edger and as you've seen when I use the edger it's pretty consistent it's gonna get it's gonna do what it needs to do but not the best in my opinion all right guys so second up is of course the weed eater and for this one guys I actually did a uh, basically a front edge. I was walking in front of the, uh, the turf instead of standing on the turf. In my opinion, that's still not the best way to do it. demonstration of me actually standing on top of the turf and walking backwards um, that's my preferred method of actually edging all the time just because of course the head of my spring trimmer it spins and it kicks the debris away from my body so more than likely I won't get rocks or debris shot up in my eyes or under my uh, glasses there but also I feel that I get a more defined uh, edge and that's from any angle. So when I'm standing on the turf, if I, I edge it with a string trimmer, I feel like it's going to be sharp, period. Versus when I stand in front of the uh, turf, if I'm on the sidewalk and walking in front of the turf and edging it, I feel that if you stand on top of the turf, you'll see the imperfections uh, that you wasn't able to see from a different angle. Um, same thing with the uh, edger. Um, give or take, that's not a brand new blade on there. The blade is kind of short but it still served its purpose. As you see, it, it kicked up a lot of dirt. Um, that's more dirt that I have to blow with a blower. Um, sometimes it's not always necessary. And the, the reason that I prefer to choose a string trimmer over an edger is because of my, the way that I operate. And what I mean by that is I'm a solo operator at the moment. So the properties that I maintain, it's not like <laughs> they're being skipped for weeks and weeks and weeks without being edged. If I'm using the edger on them, usually I use the edger just the first visit, you know, when I get a client. And after that, I can string trim it because I'm not losing any time. It's not taking me any longer to use a string trimmer versus the edger. And I'm going to get a sharper and finer look just because the, uh, the string on the string trimmer is a little bit thinner and I can cut the debris off the top of the turf. So say if this is the grass, right? Um, usually there's stuff sticking up here and it's sticking out here. I take the, the string trimmer and uh, I cut this off, say by the sidewalk or the driveway. I, I cut off the extra grass. Also, there's little sticks sticking up by this, by the uh, top of it as well. So I'm able to actually trim that with the string trimmer as well by taking one pass across the top. The mower typically don't get that close. Um, and that's what gives you a nice box dense edge on these properties. And that's why I choose a string trimmer over an edger, um, just because my, my, my way of operations, it's more feasible to not have to go back to the truck and get the edger every time I have to edge a property. 
Typically, I can edge it with one. I can grab one equipment. I can basically use my mower, use my string trimmer, and use my blower. And I don't need the edger 90% of the time unless I have a new property. So that's my take on it, guys. Those are just a demonstration of, you know, how I operate in. Find out what suits you best. I'm pretty sure an edger probably is, it works, you know. It's just, to me, it's not going to give it the finest, the most defined edge. But it could. It could. It's going to be better than what what it looked like at the beginning, period, with either one of these. But uh, if you like this video, guys, please like, subscribe, comment, and keep grinding, keep getting it. I'm out.